Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. I uh, hope everybody had a good day of trading. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, uh, if you could be so kind, click a like. It takes one second and supports the channel, uh, helps us grow, helps us out uh, to get the word out of uh, technical analysis. And if you are brand new, consider subscribing. Uh, with this broadcast goes out Monday through uh, Wednesday, Thursdays, and my day off to kind of refresh my mind for Friday session. And then it goes uh, out again on the weekend. So welcome aboard. Uh, so after yesterday's uh, p pretty a pretty big aggressive sell off, like I said last night uh, video, you know we haven't had two days worth of kind of follow through in a while. So it really didn't shock me going into today's session. Again, we talked about this in last night's video. They know we were going to have a bounce, and that's exactly what happened today. Uh, the usual suspects that were strong continue to be strong, and you can see by the names. You know, Nvidia uh, continues to be incredibly strong. Uh, S uh, S uh, S M uh, C I that is S M C I S M C I continues to go nuts. Uh, A M D continues to go nuts. Uh, Avago, one of the very few uh, beta names left to uh, come out with earnings. They're coming out tomorrow uh, after the close. The reason why I bring that up, a buyer came in in the afternoon. There were two separate orders. It's, based, it's definitely the same buyer because they were back to back. A buyer came in, bet a total of $1 million for the 1,500 weekly calls. Stock close today at 1350. We shall see, right? We shall see if he is uncertain uh, or at least not uncertain uh, as much as a lot of these guys have been making these big bets uh, throughout uh, the you know for the last uh, couple of weeks, so we'll see about that. But the semiconductors as a whole continue to shine, right? Uh, somebody's uh, you know, somebody asked on social media today, well, what's going to happen to this market, right? And, and uh, what's going to happen to this market if Apple and Google start waking up? And you know that's a very valuable. It's a very valid question. And my response to that, and again, I'm, I'm not biased in, a, in either direction. Again, I want this rally to last as, as, as long as possible. But my question was kind of the flip side, right? There's a flip side to the story. Well, what happens if NVIDIA, SMCI, and AMD lose their bids, right? So there's, there's, there's a two-sided market. There's always a two-sided question of everything. But again, keep it one day at a time. Know your levels. Trade around those levels. Uh, and usually things are going to go well assuming you don't sit there and be biased on one side of the market. And at least now, because of yesterday's kind of sell-off into the rising 20-day support, we know what our line in the sand is, right? We discussed this in last night's video. That's 433.65. Uh, that was yesterday's channel low. And if the bears in the next couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of months, whatever the case, or maybe never, that is going to be the big, big line. Until then, you can stay long. Right, you can stay along the strong stocks, and as long as they don't take out the previous day's lows, you're going to be fine. So, as much as all these stocks are very, very strong, again, there's the have-nots as well. We've been covering them. We've been talking about their technical levels. We've been seeing their channels uh, just completely get demolished, despite how aggressive the market is. And the question continues, right? Why isn't Google participating? Right? Why is Apple not participating? These are all very, very fair questions. Tesla has been an absolute godsend, right? If you've been following this broadcast hell just for the last three days, you kind of know how important this 198 level was, how important this 189 level was. And we got to today's low, right? We got to the 175 low, went down to 173.70s, bounced around the whole day, and it closed 176.50. And this is now the lowest close in this whole formation. If Tesla loses today's lows tomorrow, there's going to be a really, really another big wave of selling. Again, this is just what happens when a stock is broken technically. And again, you can love Elon. I love Elon. You can love Tesla. I love Tesla. The cars are great. 
four out of five cars on the road here in New Jersey are Teslas. It's nothing to do with the product, but when a stock is broken, the stock is broken. When a stock is in a runaway train, uh, like an NVIDIA, right? Well, there it is, right? There's a runaway trade. After the close, uh, after the close, the stock is already down $1.50. Hopefully, we can get a little bit more push. We'll get to the ramifications of that uh, in a second. Um, and, and look at Microsoft, right? Microsoft had a horrific day yesterday, did not participate again, and it stopped, stopped at the 50-day moving average. So the question going into tomorrow, right? Question going into tomorrow's session is, again, how long can the leaders, how long can these, these top-weighted NASDAQ names continue to go weaker until something pulls, until something majestic pulls? And I guess the answer to that is not really when Microsoft, Apple, and Google, and Tesla are the weakest names. The question is, well, how long can NVIDIA continue to rise? And it's a very, very fair question. The stock right now is a rocket ship. Uh, we saw 900 weeklies come in. We saw 1,000 uh, 1, call buyers for next month, 950. So there's no shortage of really, really big bets uh, coming in uh, coming in on uh, coming in on Nvidia and, and you can really see how impressive the stock is you know this is the highest close by far uh, stock is up what stock is up another three dollars after the close so it's doing uh, very uh, very well PLTR remember we talked about PLTR a couple of a couple of weeks ago it was setting up really nice tight channel stock broke out today uh, big call buying here's another name a lot of call buying they were coming in for the 2750 weeklies the 28s the 30s for next month, a nice, really nice uh, government contract uh, came out pre-market, uh, closed at 26.16. It's up about 40 cents uh, after the close. Watch this thing for tomorrow. If this thing can start uh, confirming today's channels tomorrow, uh, you can give another leg up. Or if it gives a, a you know, if it gives a weak, uh, a weak uh, profit-taking scenario, you know, use the weakness as a potential bounce spot. Uh, for a potential red to green push uh, that, you know, following uh, hopefully towards uh, the back end of the day. IBM was another one. Remember we were talking about IBM uh, for the last couple of days? It relaxed, relaxed. Today it expanded, highest close in this whole formation. So there's a lot of really good, uh, really a lot of good names that are behaving incredibly well, especially in the technology space. There's a lot of names that are not participating. And the old question goes, again, it, it, it's not being, you know, it's not trying to, put something out there that's not out there. But it's a very, very fair question. How long can the market last without these stocks, the you know, the, the Microsofts, the Teslas, the Apples, the Googles of the world that are not participating? Again, what is going to happen next? Is Are these stocks going to pull everything down? Or is NVIDIA and SMCI and AMD going to continue to hold the fort uh, until that happens? We'll see. You know, we'll see. If you look at the indexes today, uh, again, nothing really to talk about, you know, Q's up uh, almost three, despite the weakness uh, in the leaders. Uh, you got the SMHs continue just to go absolutely gangbusters. Uh, the IWM, again, which represents speculation money, uh, beautiful run uh, in, over the last, especially three weeks to catching up and everything. So again, the speculation money uh, is definitely, definitely still, uh, you know, holding up very, very well. Uh, the diamonds, the Dow is, is, you know, is lagging a little bit compared to the other indexes. But again, nobody really trades the Dow. The Dow is only, first of all, there's only 30 stocks and it's investment vehicles. They're not there to be for day trading purposes, but you can see it's a little bit of a lag or a less, a little bit of a range uh, than the NASDAQ and the SPY uh, doing its thing, basically pretty much linear. So uh, again, great market. Uh, it's giving really good two-sided opportunities uh, for the bull, for the bear, sometimes in the same, in the same day. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Uh, I PLTR, I traded a couple of times. Really nice move. Close at the high, pretty much at the highs of the day. Uh, well, excuse me, it's trading at the near the high of the days right now after hours. Uh, PLTR, 25.70 needs to build. Confirmed the 26.10. Traded up as high as the 26.75. But keep this in mind, stock's up about $3 of the day. So you can't even have a, a really a monster, monster move. But it looks great. It's highest close in the whole formation. Uh, IBM 194 uh, needs to build. Here was uh, IBM, took out the 94, this back-to-back -back day where it got rejected, traded all the way up to 98. Great close, great, great close. Uh, big move there. Tesla, if you, again, if you've been watching us for the last, you know, even the last three days, we've been short this thing, uh, caught this thing for 20 points basically in the last couple of days. Uh, got out of my position today when it, 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 when it, it, it refused to break down the range and stay in the range. 
We were shorted at the close. Uh, my, I have a pair trade kind of uh, at the close. I'm short some Tesla and I'm long some Qs. Basically speaking, I want to lose money on the Qs because we could get a gap down. This Tesla's going to be down a whole lot more than the Qs. But my whole thinking is if we could get a gap up, you sell the Qs and hopefully Tesla goes right into the day and you hopefully make both sides. But it, again, Tesla right now is uh, trading, you know, down about a buck and change uh, after the close. Uh, too low. Uh, 55.75 earnings low, never got there. Meta, nice push on Meta today. Uh, 497.42 is a sneaky channel. It needs to build over. Here was uh, Meta, right? Here was Meta. Here was the sneaky pivot right here, right? You see this whole area here? Oh, excuse me. You see this whole area here? 197, uh, 497.32, give a nice five point pop uh, right at the open crowd, right? So again, here's another thing. So, Crowd came out with good numbers, at least a, a good reaction to numbers. Uh, crowd was up, you know, crowd was up around, I don't know, I would say about 70 points pre-market. Um, you know, it gave back pretty much everything. It was, you know, it was, it was up, it gave back about 50 points uh, for the day. Obviously, never got up to this 373 level. Uh, and that's, oh, MCHP, not, not, not a big pop on MCHP, but MCHP, uh, rejected 88 three times. We talked about the setup for the last couple of days. Uh, finally got above the 88. Not a big pop at all. Went up about uh, 60 cents before it closed out right here. And uh, da -da 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 -da. I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm going to try to cover some uh, Tesla uh, if it starts getting below that 75, just to take some off the table, uh, if, if possible, if possible, just to kind of lighten up uh, overnight exposure when you can. I, I always, if, if a stock is going in my direction after hours, I try to take some off. Why wait for the next day? A bird in the hand, right? So that's it. All right, guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Just a reminder, uh, tomorrow there is no uh, video. Tomorrow night is my regular uh, evening off. If you are planning to join us in the live webinar, there's a link below. Kick the tires, test drive the PS60 for, 60, uh, for 30 days and see if it's right fit for you. All right, guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I will see you all in the field tomorrow. Take